Welcome to Tao Living, the Art of Living podcast with your host, Lou Corletto, where you will be supported to remember that you are the driver and not the vehicle so that you can walk your life in trust. Hello, beautiful people, and welcome back to the Tao Living podcast, the Art of Living. Today's episode comes from nature once again. Many, many decades ago, one of my most influential teachers, Dr. Pasquale Cerasoli, taught me to make parallels, especially from nature, as it's our best teacher. A few days ago, we finished one of our high-end retreats, The Art of Living Experience, and as we were walking with the group through the woods, we were looking at some of the 90, 100-foot trees and there were a couple that were, were dying, these huge, strong trees. And what was killing them were vines. And compared to the size of the tree, the vines were pretty small, but it was insidious. Over time, the vines were sucking the life out of the tree. And it was astonishing to see. Um, I will. Side note to myself, I will do, I will add some photos of those so you can get a visual to what I'm saying. And uh, when we first bought the property, I was walking with a forester. We came across some of these vines and I asked him about how to manage them to allow nature to do her thing and also take care of some of the trees so they weren't taken out. He said, you need to cut them, but you need to cut them at least four feet above the ground. I'm like, why is that? He said, because if you don't, they'll grow new tentacles, tendrils, back to the earth, regroup, and then feed itself back up to that 90 to 100 feet and continue the process. I was like, no way. Uh, So to experiment, I would walk through the forest and periodically see some of these vines and I would cut them at different lengths. And indeed, that's exactly what they did. So I came up with a ritual that because there's, we live on a lot of property, <clears throat> uh, so we would just cut them at the appropriate height and let them die. And then months later, sometimes next season, we'll come back and start pulling 90 feet of vine out of the tree. And that's a job in and of itself because it's still rooted in the tree. So that's the practical story. The parallel, like how do I take that to my life and what do we use with the group uh, to bring that to our life? What do you have in your life that is sucking your life energy, right? Uh, hang with me because we're going to leave the, 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 the concept of victimhood into ownership. Um, just like the vine on the tree, all of us have experiences people, places, things, traumas that um, if unresolved, we're feeding our life force to, which is the sucking of life energy. It's not sucking, we're feeding it. Uh, If we're playing victim, then it's sucking us, right? Vampire people, uh, these people are robbing my energy. Remember, nobody can do anything to you unless you participate in the process. So we're feeding that. We're allowing, we're participating at some level, unconscious, conscious. Um, so just like the tree, uh, the, the vines, right? So when we cut them, they're now unrooted from the ground. They can't take nutrients. So they technically aren't no longer killing the tree actively. But because there's 80 feet of vine still in the tree wrapped around branches it's still constricting the tree. So even if you've done a lot of work in your life, healing trauma, wounds, whatever you want to call it, that's clipping the roots. But have you pulled the rest of the vine out? Right? And this is what we experienced this, this uh, last week when we were working in the retreat. These are some high-end people who attended, who've done a lot of transformational work, really successful people. 
Yet, as we were going through the days, we would start to see and reveal that a lot of the beautiful work had done great results, but not resolution, because they clipped the vines, they cut the roots, but they didn't get the ten the tentacles, right, the tendrils out of the tree, the rest of the system, wherever that's at, in your cells, your body, your organ, your mind, um, you know, where is that stuff still hooked in? And so that's essential to do that work, to cut the roots, but also reel in the rest of the vine. Yeah, so take inventory first. Where are you feeding energy to old stuff that's draining your life? People. Organizations. Um, old thought patterns. Traumas unresolved. If you've done a lot of work and you know you have changes but not resolution, this would be the place to continue to look. Because the, well, I've done the work. Yeah, you've done part of the work but not the completion so then what do you need to do to go in and continue to pull the rest of the vines out and then have a beautiful little fire and burn the rest of the vines so you now have resolution that stuff is no longer in your system it's not in your anatomy it's not in your physiology it's not in your psychology you have completion you have resolution If you'd like to play deeper with that, join us in October where we will have another Art of Living retreat. October 12 to 15. You can check the link below. Love to have you. Until then, abundant blessings. Peace. To connect further and dive deeper, you can always reach me at my website, lucorletto.com. L O U C O R L E T O or in the social channels, Facebook, Lou Corletto dot official, Instagram, Lou underscore Corletto, Twitter, Lou underscore Corletto, and LinkedIn. Until next time, remember who you be, abundant blessings.